for the joy and happiness in the world. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come over along and help out? Yeah, dude. Invite her over too. It would be fun. To my surprise, Suri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. Alright, at least she knows her, her limits. She's probably run out of spoons. You guys know about the spoon theory? If you don't, look it up. Or spoon analogy, I guess. You understand, right? Uh, it's, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about, about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. And you know what? You have my number. Do not hesitate to call if you need anything. Holy crap. Give her a cookie. Heck yeah, give her a cookie. Ow! Oh, I popped my wrist and that one will hurt. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is, all right, is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Holy crap, this game just got somber. I can't do with the upbeat music right now, dang. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Oh look, she has a different outfit. Man, she's looking fly. That gray with the purple hair looks great. <gasps> Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more, hurried more on my way home. Oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Gonna hang out with Yuri. Yuri is still best girl. I'm kind of with you right there. I take I take Yuri to my room. Bow, chicka, bow. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. Yeah, she's judging me. At least there's books in sight. It's so clean. <laughs> yeah, I had to clean it. I cleaned it before you came over. <laughs> That's very considerate for you to do. Uh, no. It would be really embarrassing for you to be in my room with a mess if you hear blah, I can't speak. That's how I would have spoke to her, by the way, so we're going to keep it. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Yeah, you would have found dirty underwear and stuff. It's not, not, it's not something you do. Uh, that'd be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there! I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. She's she doing the snoopiness. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of it. She's fucking adorable, she's just... <laughs> Making sure she's like looking around, making sure she's not gonna touch anything now. Also, the MC says she doesn't read much but look at herself. Yeah, right? That's what I was thinking too. So, uh, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decoration and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. <gasps> of course. Oh, wait. Of course. Uh, wrong voice again. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for... Cupcakes, I guess. Fuck yeah, let's get some cupcakes. I'm determined to. All right. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that? 
bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be anxious. Dang, I'm hungry all of a sudden. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Are you talking about doing that in my room? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? <laughs> a dildo. <laughs> Smacking it across your face. Nope, it's a doorstop. Oh, or, oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I'm doing the wrong voice for her. Whoops. Not familiar at all. Uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes the switch on the bottom. You loving the stream? Hey, I'm glad. Appreciate you popping in. Glad you're having fun. Uh, I've read that one. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on top. Also, there's a, uh, a diffuser I found that looks really cool. It's a bottom diffuser, and it looks like a little a rock formation with, like, lines going down it. And so the smoke flows downwards into, like, a waterfall. It looks pretty neat. But apparently it only lasts, like, two minutes because the, the bottom incense burners don't last long at all. So I was like, ah, I'm not going to get it. Uh... Okay, I read that. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Oh damn, she's setting the mood. Feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that'll be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. We seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. <laughs> Stupid freaking fly, I've killed five of them. And there's one, two on the wall. I gotta go get them, hold on. We're on a fly smashing party. Ah! Knocking things over. Ah! I almost knocked over everything. Ah! Knocking things over. Alright. Fly number one. Got him! Fly number two. Got him! Freaking flies in a moth. Got him. Where'd the other fly go? Gross. You wanna eat a fly? Don't eat a fly. Hold on a minute, I'll be right back. Let's throw these away. <laughs> Stupid flies. Sorry, back. Stupid flies, man. Keep flying in my face. Drive me crazy. You're strong! <laughs> Um, oh, I trust your opinion with anything. Got it. Better not be any more flies around. We've killed seven now. Yuri smiles gently, clear clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. Also, is my heart rate monitor still working? Is it updating? Let's see. Get the heart rate going. Is it moving? Okay, it's still working. We're good. We good, we Gucci! Let's go. Dun 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 dun. Alright. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the original? Or the origami paper asked you to get? Hell yeah, we're gonna do some origami! Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. Oh, damn it. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. 
Holy crap. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eyes as passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative! I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. It, is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Aww. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when she's just the two of us? Yeah, I've noticed that. Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. That too, and she's got that incense burning. You need to overcomplicate I am speed. Overcomplicate I am speed. I'm very confused, my friend. Here's a marker, Big Papa. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her side, to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. She called that knife in her poem beautiful, too. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. That looks really fancy. Uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. Why would you be embarrassed? What is it? You're going to think this is weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? You promise you won't be weirded out? Yeah, I promise. My mother's spirit is imbued into this blade. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Okay. Two things. One. Heck yeah, so am I. Knives are awesome. I really like knives. Um, I've wanted to collect knives and swords since I was, like, really small. However, she did write that poem. And now I'm going back to my theory that I think she might be a cutter. They're just so... pretty. I... I can't help it. And there's the urge she was talking about that she couldn't resist in her poem. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe? Uh, w what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. I don't think you're weird. Just be careful. Haha. <laughs> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's interesting to be into, I guess. But I think it's kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of an intense. It's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? He relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn around my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Great, I'm gonna bleed now. Ow! Yep, I'm an idiot. She told you to be careful, you dumb! Big Papa! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Ah! S mm. Okay, how would you know that? Okay. Okay. I'm leaning more and more towards my theory. And also, she's wearing... I mean, it could be cold and stuff. I may be thinking about this more, but if she is a cutter, she would always try to hide it. So the long sleeves and the turtleneck could definitely be coming into play right now. And also, she looks like she has long pants. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Depending on her reaction. Ah! Uh, without warning, puts, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Ah! Uh, 
Her poem! See, ah, oh, oh. I think we figured something out. Okay, so her poem also mentioned that like it, it gave her excitement and urge, right? Or it gave her excitement and whatever. So I think maybe the sight of blood excites her. Did I say the excite of blood? I meant to say the sight of blood excites her. Oh boy. I feel a tongue curl on my finger. Whoa. Startled, startled I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Hi. Yuri lowers her head. Her face burning up. Oh boy. Yuri. That's. Oh. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Oh goodness. This is gonna get weird. Either that she's a serial killer or a vampire. <laughs> she, yeah, she could be a vampire. Because then it does say it's a horror game, and I've been expecting like a ghost or something to show up, so maybe she's a vampire. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And also, she said she wanted to black out the room, so maybe she doesn't want people to see her turn into a vampire. I'm gonna get turned into a vampire. Is Natsuki a werewolf then? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise, but I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Okay. Hey, Papa! Did, did you really just do that? Yeah, I, now we're both awkward and weird. So, we're even. Ah now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Uh, I knew that would be a bad idea. It's not for the sweet aroma. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine, jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Big Papa. All right. Yuri giggles shyly. Whew. Uh, crisis averted, I think. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh. I don't think I need one, actually. Hey! What are you doing? It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. Whew! We each resume our respective activities. Give her the knife fucking back, dude. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out, side by side. It looks better than I expected? and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. She, uh, she peruser of, what's it called, Pinterest? Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and, oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. Put them on a plate to catch any paint that drifts and bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? Oh, look how happy she is. I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve. Pulling it back over her arm. Uh... Nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. Uh, I feel uneasy right now. So, I thought maybe do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. 
starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. 